but the patience has paid off in the form of this big fat boy. Look how deep that fish is, nice rainbow. Very thick, very heavy. Took the power bait on the ice fly. Put him back in here. the Salt Lake Tribune. We're up here at Penguich Lake on a beautiful day, a perfect day for ice fishing. Fishing could be a little faster. It's not happening as quick as we'd like. We've caught a couple, but we're, it's a little slow part, so we're going to take a moment and talk a little bit about ice fishing. This is Mickey Anderson from Fish Tech. And most people know Mickey from uh, fly tying circles and fly fishing, but uh, He's a, he's a kind of a closet ice, well, you're not even a closet ice fisherman, are you? I mean, <laughs> no. you, you get out quite a bit. I do this a lot. Oh, I thought it was getting hit. There you yeah. go, well, that's what it's all about. I love the ice. It, it's just What fun. is it you like about the ice fishing <clears throat> so much? I don't know, it, it, probably how social it is. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody's sitting around, we're talking, laughing, throwing snowballs, screwing around, playing games. You know, and everybody's still in a group and everybody's still catching fish, so I think that's what I like about it. And it continues the season, obviously. It's, it's another option on hard water. <laughs> yeah, I get that question a lot. You know, what do you do to keep the ice off your guides? When it gets that cold, I put a tent up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, that, Get off the river. <laughs> and a lot of people might stay away from um, ice fishing because they think it's cost prohibitive, but um, it, it doesn't have to be. No, it's really not. You can get a $2 bucket, a handful of lures for 10 bucks. The rods are under $10. Use the same reel you use during the, the regular season. And, a little cup of bait. It's you know twenty bucks is it. And, uh, and you need an ice auger, obviously. How much do those typically? Uh, a good auger is around fifty dollars. But that can last a <clears throat> lifetime oh, if you yeah, take good care of it. Yeah, you take care of it. It's the forever purchase. And you get the manual kind, so you stay warm. <laughs> of course, we don't need it today, <laughs> but uh, on, on cold days, those come in handy to keep you warm. Um, Let's talk about some of the other things we're doing here. Now, you're using the shorter rod. What's the theory behind a shorter mm. rod well, on the ice fishing? Main advantage is uh, it helps you guide the fish's head up through the hole. You can get right over top of the hole and just lift it straight out. So you see what's going on. The other is if you're ever inside of a shelter, the shelters are kind of close, and these small rods let you set the hook. And talk about uh, some of the other things you need. You need the auger we talked about. The scoop comes in very handy because you get a lot of slush down in the hole, and you got to clean it out and it's a lot easier to use that than to use your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot warmer. This fancy little bobber, what does that do for you? <clears throat> what the bobber has, it's got a, a sliding rig, a little slip rig on it. The advantage to that is I can set the depth and then always get back to the same depth. So I can jig it and move it around. If I hook a fish or miss a fish, I can bring it up and check and then lower it right back down. And I've got the same depth each time. It's great. It does really help you see those little tiny hits, and that's especially important when you're fishing for smaller fish like you know perch and stuff. We'll talk about some of these um, these lures that you use for ice fishing. Uh, when I trout fish, I, I like a variety of lures. Uh, little tube jigs work really well. You tip those with bait, and then um, uh, perch fishing. I like spoon type lures. Some something with a little bit of weight to it. Generally, the perch are down deep, and you want this weight to get you down really fast. Uh, for when they come through, you'll hook a fish and drop it right back. This is just kind of a, a generic uh, selection. This is uh, what everybody calls ice flies. It, all it is is just colored hooks. Now, some people say that the secret to fishing with mealworms and waxworms is you keep them in your mouth to keep them warm, right? <laughs> some people. Some people say that. <laughs> I, I'm not brave enough to figure out if it's true or not. I'm not going to test that theory, but, but uh, I've actually seen people do it. Um, one of them works at Fish Tech. I won't say his name, <laughs> but it starts yeah. with J. Um. <laughs> you do need to keep your bait from freezing. Yeah. You know, if you're staying out overnight or if you're, you buy your bait ahead of time, don't load it in your car. Well, great. Well, let's uh, find some more fish. What do you say? Yeah, two rods. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That, let's talk about that as well. I mean, uh, some people might think, hey, what's he doing? He's fishing with two rods there. It's, uh, it's something the state did to help anglers get more out of their fishing license, uh, tell me about the two pole. Yeah, if you buy a two pole permit, it's a $15 permit, it's good for the full year. It lets you use two rods. Uh, I always use two rods and I've got two lures on each rod. So I have four different colors, four different styles, you know, four different things going on. It just helps me figure out what's, uh, what fish you can hit a little bit quicker. Is it, and it can also lead to some confusion, <laughs> <or> some <laughs> chaos. 
<laughs> yeah, if you get a school of fish that comes through, they can take both rods. We've had it happen before. And you set and just try to feel which one feels bigger and put the smaller one under your leg and land, try to land the big one and pull up on the small one. That's great. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So we're with Michael Halley from the Division of Wildlife Resources. He's a biologist down here in the southern region. Uh, some interesting things that happened in Penguich Lake in the last mm -hmm. couple of years. What uh, tell us, you know, what it, what the program was and where it is now? Well, the, in the past, Penguich Lake has uh, had a history of some really good fishing at times, and then uh, as well as it's had problems with Utah chub in the past that have overtaken the lake and, and outcompeted the trout, and that happened again. And, uh, up till 2005 when they estimated that about 95% of the biomass in the lake of fish was made up of Utah chubs. So in May of 2006, the whole lake was treated with uh, rotenone, which is a chemical that kills fish. Talk a little bit about uh, um, how important this fishery is for this area. Uh, you know, this is a really important fishery. This is actually one of the oldest fisheries in the state. Um, this is a natural lake. Uh, the name Pang, which actually means uh, big fish in Paiute. So the, the Indians have, have been fishing here for hundreds of years. And so um, it's, it's provided great fishing for a long time and uh, it's been very popular. Uh, talk about the, um, the fish that we're seeing now. Um, some good healthy fish. Yeah, yeah. What ever since the ever since we restocked fish, we've seen some really high growth rates in this lake. The the fish have, have had a lot of food to feed on, not a lot of competition, um, especially with those chubs being gone. So they've they've grown really fast, and we've seen really healthy fish. And up uh, through 2008 and 2009, uh, we saw a lot of really nice fish. You know, we saw a lot of rainbows being caught up to 20 inches, 22 inches, and um, they're, they're really fat, healthy fish. A lot of those fish will weigh up to four or five pounds. And uh, we've also seen some really growth, good growth on the cutthroat trout as well. And uh, that, that's, you know, oftentimes those cutthroat look a little bit skinnier just, just by their body shape, but um, even here they get really fat. Just there's so much food to eat. Fish. Nice, healthy, big, fat rainbow. Tube jig tipped with some power bait. Not a really long fish, but really fat and healthy. This is uh, what you can expect at Penguin Lake this rest of this winter and up for the coming years, thanks to this uh, program that they've got going on up here at uh, Penguin Lake. So. Hey, Penguin Lake, big fish, that's what they are. Here he is. Thanks a lot, fish. We'll see you later.